Good afternoon. I have to make an apology. The day 38, which is still uploading, I was ready to prepare day 39 and noticed that I've read the wrong gospel. Not only read it, typed up the wrong gospel from this sheet. This is the this is the sheet for the year and somehow or other I read and typed up the wrong gospel. So I, I've now typed up because I can't read it in such a small print, I have cataracts and I haven't had them done because I'm claustrophobic and I couldn't let anyone near my face, a silly reason, but probably wouldn't have got it done anyway this year. I can still read, <laughs> but not good enough not to make a mistake. That's why I type it up before I read it, because I could make mistakes reading. But if it's in a large font, like 26 is what I do, and sometimes I stretch it into 28, I know I won't hopefully make a mistake, but I read the wrong gospel. I read the gospel for tomorrow. I read tomorrow's Matthew 19, 1 to 15. So I've now typed up the correct one, which is Matthew 18, verses 21 to 35. So I'm just only going to record the gospel for day 38 and my apologies for anyone who's noticed because no doubt somebody might one day who, who actually knows what readings are on what day. <laughs> Chronological order is what they call it. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I am reading correctly now from Matthew 18, verses 21 to 35, and this is the size of it, so hopefully there won't be anything missing. It's on forgiveness of injuries. Then Peter went up to him and said, Lord, how often must I forget my, forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. The parable of the unforgiving debtor. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents. He had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children, and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet with the words, Be patient with me, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt sorry for him, that he let him go, and cancelled the debt. Now as his servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow ser servant who owed him one hundred denarii and he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him saying pay what you owe me his fellow servant fell at his feet and appealed to him saying be patient with me and i will pay you but the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he could pay the debt. 
his fellow servants were deeply distressed. When they saw what happened, they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for the man and said to him, You wicked servant, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not then bound to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. And I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. And my apologies for missing that out of the correct day. Thank you.